see everybody in here and puppies sitting in the tiny house having my coffee. I mean, that's kind of lame. It's obvious I'm sitting in my tiny house. Yeah. Anyhow, more drama this morning with the chicken yards. I had to fix some more stuff. Um, I think I think what I'm going to end up doing is whatever's getting in there, I am going to make a door <laughs> and somehow open it, keep it open for the rooster yard and mama's yard. So if it gets something gets in, they're going to be able to get back out. Um, there's no preventing whatever from getting in. So um, I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I can't just keep fixing this over and over again. It would be much easier for me just to open up a door and, um, you know, so they can come and go. Anyhow, I am very tired. My back's a little sore. So this is going to be a very short video and it's probably just going to revolve around puppies and chickens. I hope you like it. I lied. I got a chainsaw. taking some footage earlier and as I was panning down to Romeo I noticed that he had blood on his comb he had some in his mouth um, he had some on a talon one of his talons and I'm trying to figure out what happened was he attacked is it frostbite I mean um, I don't know uh, all I know is the neighbors dogs have shown absolutely zero interest in my chickens um, Junior has shown a lot of interest and he chases after him all the time. Um, so I thought maybe Junior did it. Uh, Junior doesn't have any blood on him. But um, I came over to, well here, I'm going to show you this. The Easter egg yard here. And I noticed that this had been completely pulled away from, it had 
burst free of whatever secure um, things I used to secure it. But then I noticed there is blood on this. There is blood. Yes, there is. And it may be really hard to see, but there's blood on here as well. Um, all the way up and down here. And I'm looking at Torch right now. He's got some blood on his comb. He's got some blood on his feet. It may be really hard to see, but I can see it really clearly. And um, it looks like he's been in a fight. So Romeo is much worse. Romeo got the bad end of it. Um, so I think what happened is Romeo came over here and they got in a fight through this fence. And that's what caused it to separate from the post. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that's what that is what happened. Um, I didn't even consider this. I just thought it was one of my puppies. But he's got blood on his feet by his talons. He's got a little bit of blood on his comb. And then Romeo has quite a bit. I'm not going to show you him because it's a little bit of alarming. He's okay. He's, in fact, he's over there hunting and pecking and scratching around. Um, he seems none the worse for wear. He must be a tough rooster. But this torch dude got the best of him. Yeah, so I'm going to have to watch that. Uh, whew. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out. This whole time I was thinking it was one of my puppies, but it's not. It, they just, the two roosters got in a fight and they drew blood. This thing was caved in. In fact, I yelled at Junior. <laughs> I yelled at Junior because I thought he's the one. He was standing over here. I thought he is the one who pushed the fence in, but no. I think two roosters got in a fight. This boy here. Um, got the better of Romeo, and um, so I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to just kind of watch that, you know. Torch, you are one heck of a rooster. Oh my gosh. Standing here, I can see the amount of blood on the inside of oh, those puppies quite a bit. This whole stretch of fence, I don't know if you can see it, but it is covered in blood. So yeah, that's what happened. There was a rooster fight right here. Something very sweet happened today. Lori, Lori Choke, down in the comments section, she sent me a PayPal donation. Thank you so very much. And she left a note with it, and it said that she wanted me to go out and buy some hardwood. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and find some hardwood at a decent price. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. I just can't, I couldn't believe it. Even when I heard the little PayPal ding, I was like, Oh my gosh, that was just so, so cool. Thank you so much, Lori. Well, the day's winding down. It's starting to get dark. Um, it's just about time for me to go put the chickens up or make sure they're all in their coops. Whoa, what an eventful day. I don't know what I'm, I can do to prevent that. The roosters from fighting, you know, the free rangers as opposed to the Easter eggers. Um, I'm just going to have to fortify that fence somehow, some way. Um, and I also know that I'm going to have to teach my puppies to stop chasing the chickens. I mean, I don't understand it because my neighbor's dogs, they're over here on my property all the time and they never go after my chickens. They, they have no interest in my chickens, but it's just my two dogs. Well, they must have taught their dogs <laughs> how to be good puppies, but so I'm going to have to work with my puppies more. That's all there is to it. Anyhow, um, I gotta go start me a fire. <laughs> I've got plenty of wood inside, oh my goodness, and cook something for dinner. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.